evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for coming to the Gillette Middle School Spring Concert. We have some great music prepared for you. My name is uh, Mr. Porfirio Mendez Jr. I'm the Director of Fine Arts Head Band Director, so it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here. And uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce the Gillette Middle School Honors Band under the direction of Mr. Victor Garza.
Hey everybody, my name is Victor Garza. Like Mr. Mendes introduced me, I'm the head middle school band director here at uh, Kingsville. Um, and what you just heard was called Moscow 1941. That was one of the, the pieces we took to UIL. And uh, thankfully, with all the hard work they put in over the course of the semester, um, we walked away with what's called these sweepstakes. That means that every single judge that um, critiqued us at this event gave us a Division One. And because of that, we won this nice little trophy over here. So give it up for us. So like I mentioned, right, the name of the tune was called Moscow 1941. And if you've been keeping up with the news, um, I'm sure you've been aware that there's some tension happening in that side of the world. Um, so the person that made this song was called, uh, his name is Brian Balmages. And um, because of, as a result of what's happening in today's um, time events, um, he decided to commemorate and make a piece, but this time for the country of Ukraine. So the name of the piece is called Kiev 2022. And uh, we just so happened to get our hands on it and we got it at the perfect time, um, passed it out to the kids. And so that is gonna be our follow-up too, Kiev. And it's basically like a two-part um, work now because of you know what's happening in today's time. Uh, but without it, uh, further ado, this is gonna be uh, conducted not by myself, but by our student teacher, Mr. Carlos Navarro. Give it up for Mr. Carlos Navarro.
One more time for Mr. Navarro, please. One more time for Mr. Navarro. So, concluding the Honors Band portion of today's concert, um, something that I've been trying to do, I'm barely on my third year of teaching, but something I told myself I was going to do every spring semester was um, compose a song. And whichever band I was to be in charge, they would perform it. And so, like I said, I'm on my third year of teaching. Uh, my first year, unfortunately, we all know COVID. Second year, still COVID. So now hopefully, or not hopefully, right, we're here now. So. Third year, finally, my third time's the charm. So the name of the tune I wrote for this band is called Voyage of Discovery. And I hope you enjoy it. That'll conclude today's Modern Band portion. Thank you. Before I forget, um, so yesterday we had a um, board meeting. There was a board meeting, and, and we recognized all the fine art accolades we had. Um, as you can see right here, we have several others from the high school. And um, I just want to mention one name that we left out um, by accident at the meeting yesterday. And this is uh, Sergio San Miguel. If y'all can give a round of applause to Sergio San Miguel.
the conclusion of our concert, everybody, we're going to have the honors band and symphonic band play a uh, joint song. Um, they'll be playing the first movement of our marching show next year. So stick around to hear our first movement of the marching show next year. All right, thank you, honors band. I'm going to take a seat. Concert band. Give us a couple minutes, stitching, all that stuff. Thank you. Vasquez Cruz, we have Dr. Hugh here over the South that will join us in the concert. Thank you, Dr. Vasquez Cruz. Uh, we also have our re-elected and now board president, uh, Mr. Brian Kufal. Thank you, sir, for coming. We really appreciate it. And once again, uh, it takes a village to go through all the things that we go through and do all the things that we've done and accomplished. COVID robbed us of a year and a half worth of work. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned at the board meeting yesterday, uh, we didn't make any excuses, but we went and we immersed ourselves completely. We went on as it had, it had never existed, and we went forward. And I want to thank the staff for doing an absolutely incredible job of trying to catch these kiddos up in any capacity. A year and a half of teaching a skill is very difficult to compensate for. It is very difficult to teach when you have to have an instrument held a certain way and all you see on the screen is a blank and you're not able to accomplish that goal with those individuals. It is, it is a daunting task and a testament not only to the staff but to these kids and you the parents. The rides home, the pickup, the early mornings, the late nights, None of this is possible without you, your support, purchasing of instruments, music, your support in general. It takes a village to raise the child in every capacity. So we made no excuses, we went for it, and I, like I said last night, we came back with accolades that we could not have imagined in any capacity this year. So as we said yesterday, take that COVID, take that COVID, we got you and we were able to accomplish our goals even in light of your missing a year and a half worth of school. So if we have any teachers, counselors uh, from uh, Gillette, from the high school, any capacity, can please stand up and be recognized also. Please, any teachers, staff members, anybody at all, please get your hand to Gillette staff right there. Thank you so much. Without all of you, none of this happens even. Keeping on top of them with their grades, letting us know, let them know that, hey, so-and-so's grades are below 70. They're gonna be ineligible, those kind of things. Without you, we do not accomplish our goals either. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your help. And again, to the parents, give yourselves a round of applause because without you, we don't have them either. Thank you. In front of you, you have the concert band. This is our third group. Um, and this year, it was quite different than uh, other years in the sense that we had um, students that had never been in band before in concert band. And usually, when we have people join band for the first time, they are in a class where they are only with that instrument specifically so that they can learn um, you know, faster, quicker, and with the same gear, same instruments. So this year was quite a challenge, but um, these last couple of weeks, they've been working really, really hard. Um, and so the first song we have for you today is called Indigo Rock. This one's going to feature uh, our very own, uh, I like to call him Georgie. Georgie, say hi. So, yeah. so Georgie's going to count off the song for us. He's going to count it off for the band, and then he's just going to keep time on those tempo lines. All right, hope you enjoy Indigo Rock.
Thank you, thank you, yeah, that was Indigo Rock. One more time for Concert Man, everybody, please. So, we only have, uh, with this band, two songs prepared for you. The last one we have is um, actually a song that the entire middle school last year took to UIL. So, um, still a testament to the progress they've made as a band themselves. Uh, but this is going to be called Two Bridges March. I right, hope you enjoy Two Bridges March. Thank you, Pastor Man, you all sounded awesome. All right, next up, let's have Symphonic Man to the stage. Um, so in about two weeks, the entire Jeanette Band is, um, I'm pretty sure you've been told by your students, your, your children, that uh, we'll be taking a trip, a band trip. Um, so just a friendly reminder, um, if you, or, or your child did not fundraise with the fundraiser we had this semester, um, they're expected to pay just uh, $30 uh, for this trip. We'll be going to fund tractors, pay for bus, meal, um, game car, all kinds of stuff. Right? They've been working really hard, so we felt they deserve it. Um, before I forget, I want to give a shout out to two people from the concert band. So, um, in the, at the high school, we usually have um, students play in other bands other than the first one on secondary instruments. Um, we usually allow students to, you know, pick up a different instrument. This, this usually happens in high school. Once they or we feel they've um, reached at least a peak on their primary instrument. Um, but this year we had the privilege of having in concert band at Gillette, um, Isabella Mendes picking up a secondary instrument as an eighth grader. That's a huge accomplishment. So give it up for Isabella. Another student that's also with the symphonic band currently is um, Abigail Oriana. Oh, yeah. So the symphonic band is uh, led under the direction of Mr. Mark Saldivar. Mr. Saldivar and I had the privilege of you know, knowing each other for a very long time. And awesome, awesome. Okay.
first song was called Crusade. Uh, the reason why I chose this song is because um, as a director, uh, my goal for Symphonic Band is for them to get out of my band and go to Honors Band, to be in the top band. Um, this song was actually one of the songs that the first Honors Band prepared for UIL Sight Reading Contest. So I thought, you know what, they're going to hate me, but I'm going to push them to learn it. And as you can see, they learned it in three weeks, which is really, really good. So again, give them another round of applause. So the second tune that we're going to be playing is called Strength and Honor. This is one of the three pieces that we took to UIO uh, Concert and Circuit Contest, and we won one of those trophies there. Uh, fun fact that I didn't know, um, it's been about about 10 years since both Honors Band and Symphonic Band at Gillette have both received sweepstakes, which is really, really good. So they've been working so hard, and parents, thank you so much for putting up with all crazy time practices and everything like that, but thank you so much. They are working very hard and I couldn't be more proud of them. So, <laughs> this is our second song.
One more time for the Tony Man, everybody. One more time. Thank you for being patient. In front of you, we have what's called the beginner band. In years past, we used to call this the sixth grade band. But now that um, Gillette has consolidated, we now have six, seven, and eighth grade. So we have opened it up to um, any student at any grade level um, who wants to join band and join them. So this is called our beginner band. If you're a sixth grader, raise up your hand. Hands down. If you're a seventh grader, raise up your hand. We have a couple. And down. If you're an eighth grader, raise up your hand. And we have two. Cool. All right. So the way we teach beginner band is all band directors tackle their um, specialty instruments. Um, so all of these students are under the direction of all band directors. So I'm going to introduce every single one of them, right? Uh, Mr. Alvarez is our percussion director. Mr. Pobar, our brass director, playing tuba right now. Mr. Saldivar, our woodman teacher. And this semester, helping us again, like I mentioned earlier, Mr. Navarro. So the first song we have for you today is um, a tune called The Tempest. The songs we chose are very exciting, very fun, and the kids love to play them. Anytime we call out a song, they're like, yeah. so, ready to play the tennis. All right, let's do a quick little one. Parents, if you remember your child last year or last semester when we had our Christmas concert, 
they were playing a bunch of half notes, easy notes, and now they're playing a lot of notes. And they're doing a great job. One more time for beginner band. <laughs> Taking the podium for these next two songs, Mr. Saldivar back again. Give it up for Mr. Saldivar.
That's a lot of music for one year, isn't it? One more time for the beginner band, everybody. We have one more song for you, everybody, and like I mentioned earlier, it's going to be the first movement of next year's marching show. Um, for this, we have invited our Agent King drumline, and we have invited members from the high school to join us. So if y'all are one of those people, go ahead and find a seat. Honors band, symphonic band, go ahead and find a chair. To march with a marching band. And Thankfully, we had a lot of success with that. COVID hit, and then the following year, we went back to semi-normal, and we decided to invite several students again. And so this past year, we had six individuals from Gillette, from the Gillette Honors Band, uh, participate with the high school marching band. And because of that, they're, they blossomed. Their, their trajectory, everything, they just got way better, way quick with all that playing experience. And this year, we're going to try to do the same thing. So there are several students in this band program that have uh, been selected based on their talent, behavior, and discipline uh, to join us. And some of you might have already gotten that form, um, but if you have not, just ask your child. Uh, we may have passed out about 20. Um, but it was a huge success nonetheless. And so we're going to try and move forward with it, make it better, right? So just like we have marching band, we start in the summer. And other programs around Texas have their marching band, summers, programs, etc. Um, universities have summer camps, all of that good stuff, right? And so our community, Tambu, uh, is bringing back their summer band camp. And we decided this year to award one student from this band program the ability to go to this band camp, $250 worth to go to this band camp, right? And so the person chosen for this is no other than Abigail Mercado. <laughs> so let me tell you all about Abigail. She started on French horn, she picked up trumpet for jazz, and what chair did you get? Second, no offense to our other kids that play trumpet, but she be dull. Right? She worked really hard. Anytime I ask her to do something, she does it. For example, the other day I had her uh, do some small little paperwork. And I did not know, I'm sorry about this, but I did not know her parents were already waiting outside. But she was like, no, Mr. Garza said, Mr. Garza said, I have to do this, I have to do this. So she always goes above and beyond. Um, and she's been an awesome example of a student. So give it up one more time for her. So the name of our marching show next year is called Cause and Effect. We're going to play for you just movement one. We hope you like it. And after that, you may go home. And get some good things. Just kidding.
Thank you so much. Have a good one.